Hey, it's LJT. We've got bales of high-grade San Andreas Kush just sitting on the factory floor waiting to go moldy. So much, in fact, that we can't harvest anymore. So sell something and get this business moving. Yeah, I know. I... I... <sighs> LGT, I fucking know. I'll do it when I can, you fucking annoying bastard. Please stop fucking ringing me, you knob. Fucking stop. Welcome to another Let's Rant episode on GTA 5. Now, after the recent introduction of the Biker DLC, we got the chance to run our own little mini businesses. Some doing illegal documents, some doing cocaine, some doing other things and weed, and. I thought, uh, what the hell, it sounds like a bit of fun, I'll give it a try. So I spent nearly two million on my weed factory. Looks quite nice. I mean, none of it makes sense. The way things grow don't make sense. The just there quite a bit about it. Uh, it can be a bit boring, but the most annoying thing, and it reminds me so much of Simeon, is LJT, which, looking at Reddit, apparently stands for Long John Teabagger. And also, I was brought up a question, is it Lester? It, it really does hold a comparison. It just sounds like voice changer or something like that applied to Lester. So, uh, this ain't going to be a long video because there's not much to say about it. It's really annoying. I, uh, obviously, Rockstar and GTA must know that this is annoying. But yet they do it anyway. Every time you come into a lobby, every time you've left a job, you'll get that phone call and it will stop you accepting other jobs because you have to obviously deal with that first. It auto it auto answers itself after a couple of seconds, so the phone will ring for a second or two and then it will auto answer saying, hey, LJT here, we got some high grade California Kush just said that the warehouse just rotting away and fucking... It's like, I know, fuck off. I'm either playing missions, playing with friends, or doing something else. I can do that later. You can sit in the warehouse and fucking stay there forever for all I give a shit. And apparently the only way to stop him ringing you constantly is to shut down the business, having full supplies and then shutting down the business. Oh, it's so irritating. In like, I don't know if, if he's not ringing you because you've got a full warehouse, oh, we need supplies. They can't work without supplies. Every fucking minute. It's like, <sighs> give it a rest. The more annoying you make a game, the less that people are going to want to play it. And yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. There are a lot more worse issues in GTA 5. But it's still an annoyance and it still doesn't need to be there. It's unnecessary. Why? Why? A fucking, if we still get the messages from Simeon. We still get the fucking invites from Martin for the adversary mods, what they're trying to push every month. We still get the everything else. It's just, fuck off. Okay? GTA can be a relaxing experience, but not every time you go into a lobby or every couple of minutes you just get that phone call again and again and again and again and again. Hey, LGT here. Hey, LGT here. Hey, LGT here. We got some high grade. Fuck off! <sighs> it, it does build up on you after a while. It does really annoy you. I, think, I mean, this will only be relevant to people that still play the game. Obviously, the, the player base has calmed down in numbers a little bit. But it still affects a lot of people, and it's just annoying. It's, it's enough reason to put you off having the business altogether. And I am seriously considering just shutting down that warehouse and saying, fuck the weed, fuck my employees, <laughs> I'm done with it, because you're annoying me on the phone every two fucking minutes. Just leave me alone. If I'm the boss, then stop annoying the boss. Why can't I fire you? Why can't I fire this annoying little shit? Why can't I call Lester, who's probably the same person, and just get him to sort this out? Ah. GTA, just stop it. Okay, you've started doing some nice things. I will say at the end of this video because I think it's only fair. The stunt racers, the premium racers, they made that non-contact. Fucking amazing. Well done there, Rockstar. Keep that up with every single week. Don't just let it be a one-time thing. And they gave people 250,000 credits uh, at the start of this month, I think it was, or at the end of November. Uh, sorry, start of November, end of October. Uh, they give them a quarter of a million, that's quite a nice little thing. It's obviously nothing compared to what they're asking for most of the DLC vehicles. They're still ripping people off with the Shatoro and everything else. There are plenty of things that are rip off. Yes. So the last thing I want to be is be ripped off and then annoyed. So please, if you're just going to rip me off, do that. Don't do both, okay? One or the other. You choose, Rockstar. And we'll argue about it later. I'll see you next video. For now, goodbye. Mr. Raspberry Jam! <laughs> Why? Why?